Imagine the Indian general election total advertising budget. For the 2019 Indian general elections, the total advertising spend was estimated to be around 60 billion Indian rupees, approximately $800 million USD. This includes all forms of media, digital, print, television, radio, and outdoor. Rather, think of it as a billion dollar theatrical spectacle, digital ad spend. Digital advertising has been taking a larger slice of the election advertising budget over recent years. In the 2019 elections, digital spend was estimated to be about 20% of the total media spend, which would be approximately 12 billion rupees, $160 million USD. This portion is expected to grow as digital media becomes increasingly pivotal in reaching and engaging voters, where billions are poured into the complex channels of advertising and campaigning. Spend on Google and Facebook. Google and Facebook are the leading platforms for digital advertising due to their extensive reach and advanced targeting capabilities. While specific figures for spending on these platforms are not publicly disclosed, it's estimated that a significant portion of the digital ad spend goes to these two giants. Reports suggest that political parties could allocate as much as 50% or more of their digital ad budget to Google and Facebook combined, which would translate to about 6 billion rupees, 80 million dollars USD or more based on the 2019 figures. The 2019 general elections in India, hailed as the largest democratic exercise on the planet, set new paradigms not only in voter turnout, but also in the colossal financial undertakings involved. Um, outdoor advertising spend. Outdoor advertising also plays a crucial role, especially in reaching areas with lower internet penetration. The spend on outdoor advertising, billboards, banners, and other physical displays can vary widely. In large-scale elections like the general elections, it's not uncommon for outdoor advertising to account for a substantial portion of the budget. The specific expenditure on outdoor advertising for the 2019 elections isn't readily available, but it typically constitutes a significant share of the total spend, potentially nearing the expenditure on digital platforms. With a staggering amount reported to be spent, this election rewrote the norms of electoral budgets and showcased an aggressive shift towards digital campaign strategies, juxtaposed against traditional canvassing techniques. In 2019, as India positioned itself at the cusp of digital innovation, the electoral process was not spared from this technological tide. Massive funds were funneled into digital campaigning, reflecting a significant transformation from conventional to contemporary modes of voter engagement. In 2019, as India positioned itself at the cusp of digital innovation, the electoral process was not spared from this technological tide. Massive funds were funneled into digital campaigning, reflecting a significant transformation from conventional to contemporary modes of voter engagement. This essay delves into these financial torrents, aiming to untangle the economic threads of one of the world's most expensive electoral theaters. The 2019 general elections not only marked a high point in voter participation, but also illuminated the extensive costs associated with running electoral campaigns across India's vast and diverse landscape. Official figures, while expansive, often do not capture the full spectrum of unofficial spending, which includes grassroots canvassing, unauthorized banners, and localized digital campaigns. The Election Commission of India capped individual candidate spending at 70 lakhs for most constituencies, yet the actual figures, when aggregated, painted a narrative of much grander financial exertions. In this scenario, the distribution across various media channels was extensively skewed towards new age digital platforms. Traditional mediums like television and print were no longer the sole juggernauts in the advertising arena. In the digital sphere, social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp saw unprecedented usage as tools for wide-scale voter outreach. These platforms facilitated a more personalized voter interaction, moving beyond general broadcast to tailored messaging, fundamentally altering the mechanics of electoral engagement. The spread across media channels reveals a dual narrative. The sustained relevance of traditional media in rural and semi-urban areas, and the explosive growth of digital mediums in urban and metropolitan centers. This dichotomy underscored the dual strategy employed by parties, a hybrid model of old and new designed to maximize outreach and influence across varied demographic segments. As the dust has settled post the mammoth electoral exercise, a clear trend has emerged, highlighting an exponential rise in digital advertising spending. 
Analysts estimate that digital spending saw a multifold increase from previous elections, accounting for a significant portion of the total advertising pie. This digital wave is not just a testimony to the growing internet penetration in India, but is also reflective of a strategic pivot in campaign methodologies, influenced by global trends and the effectiveness of digital campaigns evidenced in other democracies. Traditional advertising methods, although still potent, are finding it increasingly challenging to keep up with the pace and precision of digital campaigns. Television and print ads, while having extensive reach, often lack the immediacy and customization that digital ads offer. Digital platforms enable campaigns to be more reactive to on-the-ground situations, allowing for real-time modifications which are not plausible with traditional media. Moreover, the cost efficiency of digital ads, coupled with their measurable impact through data analytics, presents a compelling case for their preferential use. Campaigns can now target specific demographics with surgical precision, optimizing both reach and impact, thereby ensuring judicious use of resources. This shift is also indicative of changing voter dynamics and media consumption patterns, particularly among the youth and urban voters, who are more likely to be influenced by digital content. In conclusion, the 2019 general elections of India were not only a testament to democratic spirit, but also a demonstrator of evolving electioneering practices, where big money plays a definitive role. The shift towards digital media hints at a future where elections might be fought as much in the virtual spaces as on the streets and stages. Understanding these spending trends and their implications provides crucial insights for policymakers, election strategists, and voters alike shaping the narrative of future electoral engagements.